Hello, YouTubers. It's me, Michael Brewer, reporting to you from the beautiful paradise island of Bali in the South China Sea. It's very early in the morning. Been here about four days now. And for those of you who have been following my blog here at One Man, Two Dogs, um, you'll probably know that about a year ago I started this blog on the island of Hawaii uh, with something called the Seven Day Mental Diet. It was originated by a man named Emmett Fox back in the 1930s, um, and its theme has uh, been taken up again by, more recently, by uh, people like Tony Robbins. Um, it's kind of what it sounds like. Uh, these days, uh, there's just seems to be common consensus that we are what we eat. Uh, the things that we put into our body, whether it's good nutrition or vitamins or protein or a vegetarian diet or or the other way around, uh, the toxins we put in our body in the form of alcohol and drugs and uh, cigarettes will have an overall effect on our physical well-being. Um, it's taken a while for that to take hold in the collective consciousness, but I would say that more or less today most people are aware of the fact that what you, your, your physical well-being has a direct relation upon what you put into your body. However, newer is and less well-known is the fact that we are what we think. That means that the mental thought patterns that we hold on a moment-to-moment, day-to-day, hour-by-hour, month-by-month basis will, in fact, determine our overall vibration level and, as uh, people like Abraham Hicks, Hicks would say, also our point of attraction. Because that kind of means what you think is what you get. Just look around your own lives at the people you know. I mean, everyone knows people who have habitually really, really negative or depressed or sad or angry or frustrated thought patterns. And isn't it true who people who worry and or fear on a really constant, regular basis attract into their lives things that are, in fact, of a similar vibration to those thought patterns? Worried people have things to worry about. People who are often afraid have lives that show them there's things to be afraid of. Depressed people find more reasons to be depressed. They attract these things. Abraham Hicks calls this the law of attraction. Like attracts like. This is different than the physical law of attraction or magnetism. And in fact, in my life, I can testify to the fact that this is very much true. About one year ago, I took this seven-day mental diet by Emmett Fox. Of course, while it's much easier to do it on a holiday like now, on a beautiful place like this, it really was extremely beneficial to my life. I tend to be a positive thinker to begin with and have been for many years, but uh, all of us have residual negative thought patterns uh, that are just built into us from birth on and from our upbringing and are uh, reinforced through our upbringing and schooling and social patternings. And, you know, if you really look for them, there's enough reason to be negative in, in this world uh, that you could just live all the time into fear and worry. And over the last year, my life has just really improved and improved and gotten happier and happier and more abundant and seems like hardly even think I decide I want something before it manifests. And, uh, and so now here I am again, about a year later, again on a holiday on a beautiful island. Uh, and I think it's time again to take the seven-day mental diet. And I'd like to go quickly through what that means uh, with you. And I'm going to blog here every day now for the next seven days uh, here on Bali as we travel around and report to you about how it's going. Why is it important to do this? It's because if you change your mind, in the words of Emmett Fox, if you change your mind, your conditions must change too. Your body must change. Your daily work and other activities must change. Your home must change. The color tone of your whole life must change. For whether you be habitually happy and cheerful or low-spirited and fearful depends entirely on the quality of the mental food upon which you diet yourself. 
Please be very clear about this. If you change your mind, your conditions must change too. I mean, isn't that just great news that we have that control in our lives? I mean, so many people go around feeling disempowered and victims of circumstances in their lives when, in fact, they have attracted those conditions in their lives to begin with through their mental thought patterns. And so, taking a seven-day mental diet, maybe that sounds frivolous, but actually it's not. It's probably one of the most important things you can do. Make up your mind to devote one week solely to the task of building a new habit of thought. And during the week, let everything in life be unimportant as compared with that. If you will do so, then that week will be the most significant week in your whole life. It will tr literally be the turning point for you. If you will do so, it is safe to say that your whole life will change for the better. In fact, nothing can possibly remain the same. This does not simply mean that you will be able to face your present difficulties in a better spirit. It means that the difficulties will go away. Do you get that? That's really important. This is the scientific way to alter your life and, to, and in being in accordance with the great law of attraction, it cannot fail. Now do you realize that by working in this way you do not have to change conditions. What happens is you apply the law of attraction and the conditions change spontaneously. You cannot change conditions directly as you, and you, have, as you well know because you've often tried to do so and failed. But you can go on the seven day mental diet and conditions must change for you. So this is how it works. For seven days you must not allow yourself to dwell on a single moment of any kind of negativity whatsoever. You must watch yourself for a whole week like a cat watches a mouse. And you must not, under any pretense, allow your mind to dwell on any thought that is not positive, constructive, optimistic, kind, and loving. This discipline will be so strenuous that you could, could not maintain it consciously for much more than a week, in the beginning perhaps. But I do not ask you to do so. A week will be enough, because by that time the habit of positive thinking will begin to be established and some extraordinary changes for the better will have come into your life. You might think this is easy, but it's probably not. It could be very strenuous. I don't think you should enter into this thing without really considering what it means. Mere physical fasting is child play in comparison. But just think about it, it's for one week in, a lot in your life and it could change. In fact, it will change the rest of your life for however much more life you've got ahead of you. Don't take this lightly. Maybe think about it for a day or two before you begin. Then start and God bless you. You can start any time of the day in the week. But once you start, it's really important that you go through it for a full seven days, unbroken. This is essential. The whole idea is to have seven days of unbroken mental discipline in order to get the mind definitely wrapped around a new direction once and for all. You know, it could very well be that you make a false start, go, go well on this for a day or two, and then for some reason you fall off the diet. It's no biggie. Don't beat yourself up about it. Maybe then it's time to just give it a break for a day or two and think about it and start again. I one for one, God, really highly recommend doing this not in your normal routine when you're away from your normal routine, when you're out on holiday like I am now, or you know, take a break if you can possibly do so. Another thing that's really probably kind of important is if you're surrounded by people who have no idea of this sort of thing and who are could tend to be negative thinkers, is to... Uh, not talk about it to other people because they'll just think you're nuts. <laughs> but, you know, in the long run, you may just show them just how great it is. And so I'm running out of time here now, so I'm going to sign off and uh, let you know that I'm starting my mental diet and I will report to you tomorrow. And I wish you all the best. So God bless.